All right, Shalom. I want to start out by giving our praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah, whom the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit. So, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakar Kadash, double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone, and Ruel, all right, who received this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And Shalom to the brothers that's laboring in his gospel and truth and sincerity. All right, hoping to be a part of the 144,000 the elect that will be delivered from the upcoming wrath of Yahweh Bachim Yahweh Shah. Okay, so this is part done. Back with another lesson. And in this lesson, I want to get into the um, Israelites being a people of color because the so called white people, all right, like to paint images of the Israelites being. Um, so-called white people, man. All right, and being so being uh white or leprous, okay, is a curse from the heavenly Father. And these white people today, these so-called white people, which are Edomites, going back to their forefather Esau, okay, they are cursed. They are cursed with the curse of leprosy from the Most High, man. All right, because the Most High had made the people of the earth to have. Uh, uh, pigmentation to have melanin, okay, to have a uh, color in their skin. But the most had cursed, cursed um, Edomites, man. All right, so let's get into it. This is Genesis three nineteen. In the sweat of thy face, thou shalt eat bread till thou return into the ground. For out of it was thou taken. All right, so we came from the ground. All right. We was taken from the ground. So what color is the ground? The ground is different shades of brown. The dust, the the um, dirt, all right, the soil is different shades of brown, ranging from very, very uh, dark brown to light brown, man. All right, like the sand of the sea. It's a light brown color, all right? So the people of the earth are different shades of brown, okay? For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return, man. All right, so the Most High had created people of the earth to be, uh, to be, uh, um, to have pigmentation, to have color. All right, a brown tint to them. All right, and we're going to go into what Moses. So we're going to go to Exodus, the fourth chapter, and we're going to start at the first verse. And it reads, it says, And Moses answered and said, Behold, they will not believe me. Who will not believe them? The Israelites, all right, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, Yahweh had not appeared unto thee. And Yahweh said unto him, What is that in thy hand? And he said, A rod. And the Most High is going to do miracles and show Moses that look, that look, I got you, and I'm going to do miracles in the eyes of the Israelites, all right? And I'm going to show my power, all right, in the eyes of the Israelites by performing these miracles that I'm about to show you, all right? So you can know my power and know that I'm with you, all right? And the Israelites will know that I'm with you, okay? So in verse 2, it says, And Yahweh was sending to him, What it is that in thine hand? He said, All right. He said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Put forth thy hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe Yahweh their, that they may believe that Yahweh power of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, had appeared unto thee. All right. So that's how the Most High is going to let the Israelites know that the Most High is dealing with Moses. All right. And he appeared unto Moses by showing him uh, miracles and his power. And Yahweh said, Furthermore, unto him, all right, put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. So Moses put his hand in his bosom, he took it out, and his hand was white as snow. All right? It was leprous. All right? Leprosy on uh, so-called black people, what you see, they skin, all right? They skin change colors, turn into a white uh, color. Okay, the same thing happening to Moses. And this, don't forget, the Most High is showing Moses his power, all right? So what kind of power would this be if, the, if Moses was already leprous, a so-called white person, all right? As they 
if you go to Google and you look up the image of Moses, he'll be so-called white person, all right, with leprosy all over his body. So, so what miracle would that be from the Most High if Moses was already a so-called white person? He stuck his hand into his bosom and pulled it out, and it was white as snow still. This is not a miracle. Moses was a dark-skinned man, and he put his hand in his bosom, took it out, and his skin he was uh his skin became white, man. All right, so his hand was white, the rest of his body was brown. All right, that's a miracle. Then the Most High said, Look, verse 7, he said, And he said, Put thy hand into thy bosom again. He put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So, look, he put his hand back into his bosom. All right, and he pulled it out again. And his hand became um, as his other flesh, uh, brown. All right. So that's a miracle from the Most High. That's like, damn, okay, the Most High with me. The Most High going to show his power. So we're going to go to Numbers, the 12th chapter, all right? In verse 1, it says, And Miriam, Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married Ethiopian woman, all right? And that was against the uh, the custom of the Israelites to marry a woman outside of the uh, nation of Israel, man. That was against the law. So Mo Miriam and Aaron looking at Moses, like, look, the most is the most high with. <laughs> okay, verse 12, I'm going to read it. And they said, had Yahweh indeed spoken only by Moses, had he not spoken also by us? And Yahweh heard it, all right? So the most high heard it, and he got pissed off, okay? Because the most high was dealing with Mo Moses on a personal level, okay? So, it reads, it says, uh, verse 8, verse 7, it says, My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches, in the similar to Yahweh shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? All right. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against him, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous. All right, so the Most High cursed Miriam, okay, made her white. Cause that's 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 a that's a that's in Leviticus the thirteenth chapter, okay, as that's a sin, man. All right, of have if of a punishment for having a punishment for sinning is leprosy, okay? So the most high punished Miriam by putting by make turning her to a so called white person, by giving her leprosy, which they call Villa Lago today. Alright? And Miriam became leprous white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam and behold, she was leprous. Okay? So her skin her skin changed uh colors, man. To being from going brown to white, all right. And Aaron said unto Moses, Elias, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, where wherein we have done foolishly, where and wherein we have sinned. Let not her, let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he coming out of his mother's womb, all right. So. Make a baby when he come out of the mother's womb, all right? The 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 melanin has not developed yet in the baby, man. All right? They're very, very, very light, okay? Almost look white, okay? And um, that's what happened to uh, Miriam, all right? Her flesh turned white from brown, okay? In, in verse 13, it says, and Moses cried unto you, how was saying, Hear her now, O Most High, I beseech thee. All right? And Yahweh said unto Moses, If her father had spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that let her be received again. So after them seven days, Mary, after them seven days, all right, Maryam had received, okay, her color. All right, so Mary, Marion received her color back, but she had to go 
she had to be put out the camp according to the law, and then she could be brought back within seven days, all right? That's how you deal with leprosy. So moving forward, okay, we got two accounts that the Israelites were dark, were dark-skinned people, okay? So moving on, this is Job. Even Job was a dark-skinned man, okay? Job 30 and 30, it says, My skin is black upon me. My bones are burned with heat, all right? So this is Job going going, going through the trial, all right, and adversity uh, that was sent upon him, all right? By Satan, okay, and Job, Job saying, "My skin is black upon me." So Job had he was a dark skinned man, all right, and through the hell he was going through, it became darker, all right, because that's what happens when you sick, all right. Your skin becomes dark, darker when you go through hell, all right. Your skin is darker. So look, Job right here is dark, a dark skinned man, all right. So moving on. Jeremiah 14 and 2. The Israelites, dark skinned people. Judah mourned in the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. The cry of Jerusalem is gone up. All right? So Judah, Judah mourned in the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. All right? So you can go into this Hebrew word. Basically, it's going to tell you that they're dark skin, okay? So they're black unto the ground, man. What is the ground? Different shades of brown, man. All right? So there's your proof right there that the Israelites, all right? Right here it says Judah, which represents the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, being dark skin. Uh, as well, the other ten tribes, okay, are dark skinned people as well, all right? In the time we're living in today, they're, they're lighter skinned. All right, through colonialism, okay. Go in search of what that means. All right, like I love you, I said. So this is um, going back to Songs of Solomon. All right, Songs of Solomon. Solomon was a dark skinned man. The Israelites. All right, the dark skinned people. David. All right, was a dark skinned man. His son. All right. With Solomon, a dark-skinned man. Look, this is Solomon said, Songs of Solomon 1 and 5, I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. All right? So, hey, that's, that's plain. He said, basically today, you would say, I'm black but I'm beautiful. It's basically what King Solomon said. I'm dark but I'm comely, beautiful. All right? A dark-skinned man. All right, going fast forward into the time of Acts. All right, uh, let me see. Acts, the 13th chapter to the New Testament. Acts 13 and 1, it says, And now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon that was called Niger. All right, you go into this word Niger is black. All right, it was called black. Okay. So Barnabas and Simon, with Simon is Peter, they was called black, man, all right? You go into that word, they was called black, all right? And Lucius the Cyrene and Manaean, which had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul, all right? So they was called Niger, all right, which is black. Even Peter was mistaken for e Egyptian. Let me see. E Egyptian. Let me see. You. Going back to the book of Acts. It says, Acts 21 and 38, it says, Art not thou that Egyptian? All right, so Paul, this is Paul being mistaken as an Egyptian. All right, when you read. The text, which before these days made us an uproar and lead us out into the wilderness, 4,000 men that were murderers, all right? And that's a lie, okay? But the point is that he was mistaken for Egyptian. We know those, those Egyptians, all right, those um, 
which the Egyptians would be uh, so-called Africans today, all right? Ethiopians, if I'm not mistaken. They are dark-skinned people, man, all right? That's a well-known fact. So let me uh, proof check the statement I just made about the Egyptians being Ethiopians, all right? So let me go see right quick. Uh, Salakia, so the Egyptians wouldn't wouldn't be the Ethiopians, all right? The Egyptians are, are the Egyptians, which they have been moved, all right, from their place to, from their place today, okay? They have been moved from their place, all right? So the Ethiopians will be in the ancient world, the Kush, the Kushites, all right? So moving forward, Aloy Habasha was just a dark-skinned man who in the world eagerly called Jesus, all right? And that's the that's the uh, great, big, bald-faced lie, man, all right, that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, who in the world called Jesus, was um, a, a so-called white man with leprosy, all right? That's a damn lie, man, Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, all right, so he had an ancient garment on and girt about the pouch with a golden girdle. So he had a golden girdle around his stomach, all right? His head and his hair was white like wool. So there was white, which white, you could, you know, say there was gray, all right? It was white like wool, so it had a woolly texture, okay, like sheep. And who has woolly texture of hair today, all right? Very thick and nappy. So-called black people, all right? It says, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So Allah, Yahweh shot his feet was likened unto fine brass that had been burnt in a furnace. So we know brass, all right? You have a brass penny, a brass key, all right? It's, it's brown, okay? And then if you burn it in the furnace, it's going to be dark brown. So I love you say, I was shot was a dark-skinned man. All right? That's simple to the point. That's milk. The Israelites are dark-skinned people. And the lie that the um, the uh, our forefathers in the Bible, great great men, well-known men, all right, of the Bible being so-called white, that's a lie. All right? That the white man, our enemy, Esau, Edom, has pushed. Okay? So with that, I want to give uh, praises to Yahweh Shemiah Shah, Shemiah Kodesh. All right, 